So I am the marketing manager for the Picture House here in Liverpool. So what I do is I basically just try and get the public to be aware of whatever films we're showing. I try to decorate the cinema sometimes if we have any special films on, like Into the Woods, which we have at the moment. I've done a bit of decorating for uh, that. And just in general, just whatever we can to kind of push the cinema, push all of that alternative content that you don't usually get in cinemas, which we have, which we just want the public to know so, about. So how long have you been doing that, job? I have been here at picture house for about 10 months now so we've got a very close working relationship we are two different companies Um, we obviously run the cinema side of everything and then fact runs the galleries and the public programs attached to the different exhibitions so we're basically two tenants in the same building but because we have quite similar interests and at points we intersect we do work together Uh, so when they have an exhibition, Fact has an exhibition that could be complemented with films we run a a film programme alongside the exhibition and vice versa if there's any um, events that might tie back into Fact then we we kind of partner on stuff like that as well. We're the only only picture house in the picture house family that has a setup quite like this. There's one other that's kind of similar in Bradford that's a new outfit though so we're pretty unique in the way that we run. Well we've we get in the blockbusters, the ones that are obviously going to make big money, the ones with the names that everybody knows. So we do cater for, <coughs> for the average person, but we also just do a little bit more independent programming, films that might not have the same budgets and so they don't get in front of people the way you know um, Transformers would. Uh, we get independent films, we get foreign films, we run programs uh, with the LGBT community uh, and the, those kind of films, they've got a different feeling, a different, a different vibe. So you're kind of getting this full exposure to cinema rather than just the blockbuster, high-profile type of thing. You, with every film that comes across our, you know, our screens, um, there's always special interest groups. If, if we're showing a French film, there's you know a, a thriving community of people who either speak French or are learning French, and we might ask, hey, do you guys want to come along or? Um, you know, we've had some, some quirky films in the last year, like Frank, um, which, which was a particularly quirky little film. But there are communities that are interested in that, especially the student population that we have here. They, they always want to see something different and fresh and innovative. So we kind of just reach out to different communities who might be interested in the films that we've got. And so obviously it's something that people enjoy um, coming, coming here to this building. And it's a mixed use facility you know you can, you come in to see a film and you might end up walking into the exhibition or the other way around and uh, maybe there'll be something going on you know people love coming to this building yeah. and, and that's why a place like this works and it's been working for 10 years is um, it's just kind of giving a broader idea to the idea of art and making it more public and accessible and saying that films that are a little bit different are still things that you want to go and see and yeah, that's, that's why Fact works, I think. So we've got four screens. Um, we've got the box, which is our smaller screen, and that's got the two-person settees, and uh, that's on our ground floor. It's, it's a little bit controversial, that one. You either love it or you hate it. <laughs> um, and then we've got three more of the traditional-type cinemas with armchairs and cup holders and things like that, and they range from about 100 seats to the biggest, which is over 200 Um, and they're like reclinable seats so I think that that kind of sets us apart too people feel genuinely comfortable when they come here they don't want to leave (laughs) yeah more relaxed Um, and then we we've been doing events uh, quite a bit lately actually so we have setups where we can have um, people come in and do Q&As or uh, do some kind of performance beforehand or perhaps do a lecture before a film if it's a special interest film like um, Finding Vivian Mayer which we did last year um, which is about photography a, um, a, a guy the guy who actually runs the Open Eye Gallery down by the docks he came and did just a bit of an introductory le- lecture so So our memberships, uh, there's a couple of different ones. For students, it's £15, and you get two free tickets with that, and then discounts for a year as well. And all of the discounts on the memberships apply to the cafe, the bar, and the kiosk here in the building, as well as a couple of affiliate partners like Gourmet Burger Kitchen and 
uh, pop boutique and shops and and restaurants around the um, the city. I think the Italian club's one of our partners as well. So that's students, it's £15 for a retired member, so that's 60 plus, it's £40. You get four free tickets and then £2 discount on all of your tickets after that for a year as well. And then it is £45 for an adult, um, and again, four free tickets and discounts on your movie tickets after that as well as everything in this building and a couple of other shops around the place as well so the memberships are really worthwhile if you come here uh, a lot of not even a lot of the time just even sporadic um, visitors it's it's worthwhile uh, with ticket prices at the moment our ticket price on peak time so that's after five o'clock on weekdays and on the weekends and public holidays is ten pound so really if you get a membership and you're getting four free tickets and then you get discounts for a year it pays for itself you know um a price like that can be daunting (laughs) to have to pay up front um but it is it is worth it it is worth it just in terms of the benefits that you get just for being a member um because you get access to the free previews of films that we show before they even release you know Whiplash, which um, doesn't come out for a couple of days, but we showed a preview for that back in December. Yeah. We had a hundred, a hundred of our members came to see that film a month before it got released, and they saw that for free. Yeah. And we do that every fortnight or so. We've just had a free preview of American Sniper. Um, just all the time, we're just yeah. showing previews of things. So that alone, I think, would be worth it for me. But I'm a cinephile, so I love film in general. But And I think there is this nervousness around the fact that because we are an art gallery as well, yeah. sometimes people worry yeah. it's a little bit highbrow yeah. or something like that. But the point of fact and the point of the exhibitions that are put on as well is it's really about community engagement. We're trying to provide for the public a, a place where you can engage with art and film yeah. in a way that you feel comfortable. Uh, so I hope that translates through once you walk through the door, but maybe before you come in, it's yeah. not like that. Yeah. Okay. Some of the pitch house experience a fact in one sentence. Oh, in one sentence. That is a challenge. Um, interesting, innovative films you've maybe never seen in a comfortable environment with really friendly staff. <laughs> exactly. Thanks very much, Casper. Thank you very much. Okay,